Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here again. So I wake this morning. This is the Tuesday. The, well, this is the third. Yesterday was the second. They had the voting in certain areas of the country. And you know, I took advantage of this moment to share with you why God's plan for your life is better in keeping with what your prayers are in comparison to what is happening to us every day. This system that we're living in, ladies and gentlemen, what it has done in the past, in the very past several months, is that it has come together a little bit um, in its efforts to really control this population. We've had a little laxity for a moment, but it seems as if that belt is being tightened. Now, we have uh, a Mr. Youngton out in uh, Virginia. <clears throat> who wanted to be governor. And he wanted to distance himself from Donald Trump, though he apparently, according to his previous actions, and his advocacy, is in basically in line with Donald Trump. However, he knows that Donald Trump is toxic, so he kept his distance. But what really got me is today, uh, he was having a victory lap. Apparently, he won, and he's going to be the next governor. And he was excited. I could see it on his face. And people were excited. And he was promising, well, we, what we're going to do, we're going to make sure that the parents and kids can be connected, that they got choice in schools, and we're going to do all of this, and we're going to do that. And I was sitting there, and as I listened to him, I was reminded just a few months ago, this is what Joe Biden was saying. We're going to do this. We're going to build back, build back. Same thing Virginia said. We're going to build back. We're going to build back. However, when uh, Biden was uh, got ready to build back, the Republicans had already said, we're not going to do anything to help you. This is to all Americans. The Republicans says they don't know what they're doing. We haven't done anything, but we want the power. So we're not going to do anything to help the Democrats, to help the rest of them, to help you. And so the Democrats say, okay, well, we've got enough. We can do this and we can do that. Then there were a couple of guys on the Democrats' team. I mean, can you imagine the Minnesota Vikings or any professional football team, baseball team, at com com where they compete, and you got members on the team who you run throw for a pass, he's going to make sure he, he drops the pass. He's going to drop the pass. You want that guy on your team? He promised the people, said he was going to be doing what I guess. He's a Democrat. You think he was going to talk about what the Democrats were talking about. All you give him the ball, you're going to run the ball. And he's, as soon as he's touching, he's going to fumble to make sure that you guys can't go into place. What kind of team play is that? Well, see, this is the game that you got played, Democrats. This is what they put on your team. They put these kinds of people on your team that was going out there to help you lose. So I want you to see this, America. I want you to see this, how the system worked. The Republicans said they weren't going to do anything to help you. The Democrats promised that they were going to do as much as they possibly could. And then they got some traitors on that same team that's going to do everything they can to possibly, that they possibly can to prevent you from doing it. So here again, you the people are being played. God does not play you like that. God, I'm going to say it again, God does not play you like that. Yes, God is invisible. And you have to receive that spirit and we will know that that spirit of God is in you because you will reflect it. What you have now is not the spirit of God. You've got the spirit of man trying to be God. And what got me at this victory speech, the crowd was just excited. Oh, yeah, we got it. We got it. Oh, this is as excited as the Democrats were. You the people haven't learned a thing until you decide that you are going to take back your power and allow the spirit of love to live and be generated through you, and that basically means treating people right, you're going to get screwed at every turn. And let me tell you one thing about it, ladies and gentlemen. Even though you get screwed at every turn, you might not like what I'm going to say, but by the power of God, it is happening to you because you deserve it. There's not but one righteous way, and that's the original way. That's the natural way. Everything else contrary, contradictory, and it deserves to get exactly what it's getting. So the sooner you learn that, the better you'll be. I just thought I'd share that with you today. Have a good one.